Hey, so you like lagers, eh? I'll tell you how to brew lagers of all types quicker so you can quench your thirst. Have you stopped yourself from brewing a lager because someone told you that only advanced homebrewers make lager or that you thought it would take too much time? Let's speed up the process. Like the tail of the tortoise and the hare, sometimes slow and steady wins the race. But your kegs are empty, the faucet stopped flowing, and you're left wondering, what do I do now? Enter the quick lager. This isn't about pseudo lagers using quike or ale yeast, or fermenting lagers at ale temperatures with or without pressure. This is a compromise between the standard lager fermentation and the warm lager crowds. We're going over a modified Narcisse fermentation profile. I've been using this technique for a few of my lagers, and the fine fellows over at Brewlosophy have performed loads of experiments doing the same thing. So I built a quick calculator to use when determining when to raise the temperature. For the calculator to work, we need two values, the starting gravity and the final gravity. But how do we know what the final gravity will be? One way is to use the value given by the recipe or the brewing software like Brewfather. Or the sure way is to perform a forced fermentation test. To learn more, hit the link in the description and in the cards above. So let's use this calculator. Head over to brewthelookingglass.com and search for Quick Lager Calculator. Once the calculator is open, input the starting gravity and the final gravity from your forced fermentation test. Now, when it comes to fermentation, we'll need to periodically take the gravity to keep tabs on the fermentation progress. In this example, we recently brewed a Munich Helles with an original gravity of 1052. The forced fermentation test showed a final gravity of 1010. We'll start fermentation at 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the gravity reaches the 50% attenuation point, in this example, 1031, we'll raise the temperature to 13 degrees Celsius, or 55 degrees Fahrenheit. And at 75% attenuated, we'll raise the temperature to 16 degrees Celsius, or 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, when the gravity has reached 90% attenuation, we'll bump the temperature to 18 degrees Celsius, or 65 degrees Fahrenheit, and hold that temperature for the remainder of fermentation. Once the gravity is steady, and you've passed a diastole test, you can either cold crash the beer if your system is set up for that kind of thing to speed up clarity, or you can bottle or keg your beer now. Easy peasy.